Now, moving on, viewers, India has scripted history in space as uh, ISRO SpadeX has completed the docking procedure. It's a huge milestone. Spacecraft docking successfully completed. It's a historic moment for India. Uh, the maneuver from 15 meters to 3 meters hold point has been completed. ISRO has put out these details on its social media handle. Docking was initiated with utmost precision, leading to successful spacecraft capture. Retraction completed smoothly, followed by rigidization of stability. And also docking has now completed successfully. India with this, viewers, with this milestone, India became the fourth country to achieve successful space docking. This is uh, the update that Team SpadeX has posted on Israel's social media handle. The spacecraft has completed its docking. It's a historic moment for India, for India's space research organization as well, and India's space milestone too. Because a uh, SpadeX docking process had run into a lot of trouble in between after the launch of the mission but finally the milestone is here and it's a historic moment for India and all those minds that went into this mission that were behind this mission and uh, now ISRO has also updated on its social media platform that the docking procedure has been very very successful it's a historic milestone for India as well as we became the fourth nation to achieve the successful space docking. Let me take you through the details that ISRO has uh, posted about the mission. The maneuver from 15 meters to 3 meters hold point was completed. Docking was initiated with precision leading to successful spacecraft capture. Retraction completed smoothly followed by rigidization for stability and after all this was ensured the docking was completed with utmost precision and success. Just a few days back, viewers, ISRO had uh, posted another tweet about uh, how they are now, uh, you know, conducting the mock drills of uh, this particular docking exercise. And after the successful completion of uh, that, now we have uh, a historic moment right before us as the SpadeX has completed its docking process successfully. Earlier too, they had uh, posted about how they were trying the 15 meter to 13 me uh, th 3 meter hold. And today they have posted a very, very important update. They've said that the maneuver from 15 meters to 3 meters hold point has been completed, which made way for the docking of SpadeX. It's a historic mission for uh, India as well as Israel as well, and all those minds that were behind this particular mission. It's a moment to celebrate for them. It's a historic moment, another milestone India has achieved in terms of its uh, space missions, the docking procedure, which we've seen how difficult it is outer, in outer space. This process has now been completed by the SpadeX, the spacecraft in, involved in the mission. The docking has been completed without any hindrances. It was on uh, January 12th, viewers, that ISRO carried out a trial attempt by bringing both the chaser and the target satellites three meters closer to each other. This is the three meter hold point that ISRO was talking about. And afterwards, the satellites were moved apart to safer distances to ensure that uh, there is no untoward incident. And the space agency is also analyzing the data uh, which helped them carry out the successful docking today. It is a major, major milestone for ISRO as well as uh, India. According to ISRO sources, the scientists have successfully executed the docking maneuver multiple times before the official docking procedure was uh, carried out today. The team is also now conducting detailed data analysis to validate the success of the operation and uh, the official announcement has also been made by ISRO on its social media handle. But before this, there, was, uh, there were many trial runs that were completed by ISRO to ensure that everything is in place. 
for this historic uh, feat that ISRO has achieved in space. ISRO has uh, docked two satellites in space successfully. The chaser as well as the target spacecrafts have docked precisely well. This trial run was also carried out by uh, ISRO on January 12th, just a couple of days before the official docking procedure. In fact, I've been joined by uh, ISRO's ex-director Venkateshwara Sharma. Sir, firstly, this is a very, very big moment for India as well as ISRO. How do you see this accomplishment, sir? Uh, this is a great achievement. I think uh, the, we must, uh, you know, compliment the entire country, 140 crore people of this country, for having kept, kept faith in ISRO and giving this opportunity for, uh, uh, you know, uh, making such an experiment and such a mission. I think the credit should go to the, this country, uh, 140 crore people, uh, the taxpayers who believed in ISRO and, uh, you know, kept the faith in us. Look, on 30th of uh, um, December, the, the two satellites, uh, SpedX-1 and SpedX-2, were launched. And they were spatially separated by about four kilometers. We must understand that at 550 kilometer orbit, where the satellite was launched, the satellite speed is about 28,000 kilometers per hour. That is about seven kilometers per second. Uh, that is an incredible speed. That speed, we, uh, no, we, it has to be reduced to uh, bring it down to, say, about 1 to 10 millimeter per uh, uh, second, and then only the docking should be attempted. There are several parameters, and there are several requirements before the satellites are brought together and docked, because it's a very complex mission. If any small error in the whole thing would you know, end up in disaster. <clears throat> Therefore, from 30th of December till today, ISRO had been continuously doing experiments continuously doing simulations and continuously studying. You would have seen at least four to five times the satellites were brought to about three meters distance and even the TVs and the media announced that the three meters, uh, you know, uh, achievement, but ISRO waited to have all the experiments completed and then only they attempted docking. Uh, the main important thing is that from uh, about uh, 20 kilometers space uh, distance, the distance between the satellites will be reduced to 15, then to 10, then to 5, then to 1.5. From 1.5 kilometers, then the laser uh, ranging, laser docking uh, arrangements will begin, and till about 250 meters, this laser, laser uh, arrangements will be active. From 250 meters down, then there will be close proximity docking arrangements uh, will be uh, initiated, and the automatic sequencing will be starting. Therefore, from uh, 250 meters to about three meters, the very close monitoring will be done. At three meters, the complete system will be handed over to the AI systems in the SpadeX. That is, the automatic control and the docking sequencing will be uh, commencing. Once it commences, then it is completely automatic. There is no ground control. <laughs> It must have yes, been a nail-biting finish happened. for uh, Team ISRO because they've tried multiple maneuvers as close as three meters, like you were mentioning. What are the complications, you know, that could have uh, probably uh, been or experienced by the scientists? Because it's not an easy procedure to dock two spacecrafts out of space when there's no gravity and there's nothing working in your way. If you could tell us about uh, what exactly went into this uh, milestone that we have achieved. Uh, uh, look, the biggest challenge is the uh, the orbit is 550, uh, you know, uh, kilometer orbit, where uh, the speed is 28,000 kilometers per hour, and the satellites uh, take an Earth rotation. Uh, 90 minutes it takes for, uh, you know, it, it takes to take to Earth, and every day, in a day, about 20 minutes of the day only is the visibility is there for the ground stations of the, uh, you know, of uh, India and uh, the ISRO ground stations where these operations can be managed. Therefore, you have hardly 20 minutes in a day, and remaining uh, you know, time, it is in uh, you know, non-visibility zone. In the visibility zone, only we can do all the experiments and the docking uh, trials can be done. Therefore, this is the first challenge. Second challenge is the speed at which these satellites are traveling. So the speed has to be necessarily reduced, which uh, the, you know, the control system will be active. This is the second challenge. Third challenge is the orientation of the satellites. The satellite orientation has to be in such a way that 
the uh, the petal type of uh, the, uh, the docking system mechanism whatever is existing has to exactly match this is the third challenge fourth challenge is the orientation of the sun when the orientation of the sun is there it should generate the maximum power then only isro will attempt you know docking because the power is extremely extremely important this is the fourth challenge fifth challenge is that the communication when it comes closer to about 3 meters then the in the then the communication between the two satellites and the power transfer between the two satellites happen this has to also ha happen perfectly so these are all the five major challenges which isro will face is facing and which uh, which uh, you know isro had been uh, working on it since the 30th of uh, december uh, please understand that isro had not been keeping quiet since it launched continuously it has been working making experiments making simulations Uh, every observation on the you know spacecraft and on the space the ground simulation has to be done to ensure that everything goes well so this had been a, a very big challenge therefore even though, though they tried two, three, two to two to three times earlier to dock they, they aborted it because there is an automatic you know um, docking sequence also if any small uh, error or any small uh, you know parameter which doesn't meet the, the requirement then automatic a docking system will abort the docking but mr sharma stay on with me hold